Hi, I'm Matt with Codify Academy. I'm sitting here with Caitlin Balt. How are you doing today, Caitlin? Good, how are you doing? Good, good. Just happy to have you here just to talk a little bit about your experience. Uh, you know, a little bit about Codify, but we mostly want to focus on hiring and your experience for that. But before I dive into the really heavy stuff, I just got a couple questions for you. Uh, first one is, where are you from? I'm from Canada, actually. Uh, really? I actually didn't know that. Where about? <laughs> Um, Toronto area, so Mississauga. Cool, cool. All right, it is freezing up there. So I guess you came here to avoid that? Um, actually, I came here because my dad's job moved him to California. Cool, cool. Well, yeah, you, your dad's been coding for a while, right? Yeah, he's a software engineer. Okay, cool. Um, second question, this is a hard one. If you had any superpower, what superpower would you have? I would have telepathy. Telepathy, I guess. <laughs> telepathy. <laughs> why, why would you choose telepathy? Um, because I guess, um, People are complex, and I feel like um, understanding, be able to understand people more. Huh. Mm -hmm. That'd be a good idea. Hmm. And what motivated you to learn to code? Um, so I actually, so even though my dad's a software engineer, I had never um, tried coding before. So it wasn't <laughs> until about 2015 that I was like, finally picked my major. I was getting, I got into UC Berkeley, and I was transferring there, and I realized that. I went on Code Academy actually online, mm -hmm. and I realized that like I could potentially be good at it. And I went through this whole crisis, like I'm in the completely wrong uh, major and stuff. So, but it was like I was already so far in my degree that I had to continue on. So as soon as I graduated, that's when I um, found Codeify. Cool. Yeah. And before you did coding, you know, what did you think coding was? You know, like what did you think the internet was and how it was made and stuff? What was kind of your ideas of it? Um, for the internet, I mean, I've always just used my dad as like huge Google fan, so um, where he currently works with, so. Google, 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 like uh, growing up, I always had a computer. Like we never had really had, I never watched TV, but I always had a computer. Hmm, so like, yeah, so like for me, um, I maybe I didn't totally completely understand what it was. It was just the job that my dad does. But I, um, I guess that's, yeah. Okay, so you're one of the few students who actually just came right from college. You're also uh, one of the few students who manages to get a job before they even graduate. Um, and you're graduating tomorrow, is that right? Mm -hmm. What are you doing right now? Um, I am currently um, teaching kids to code. Cool. That's awesome. What are you teaching them? Um, we're teaching HTML, CSS, Scratch programming, Python, and JavaScript. And how long have you been doing that for? Um, I've been doing it for almost two months now. Almost two months? Cool. Cool. That sounds really awesome. Before you were hired, did you feel ready to be hired? Um, I mean, I guess, when does anyone really feel ready? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess I'm going to go with that. I mean, um, it wasn't that I was, didn't feel ready, it's just that the applying for jobs process is such a like, complicated one. And it's like a lot, you have to deal with a lot, a lot of rejection. So like yeah. even a strong person, like rejection stings just a little bit. So that kind of thing, I guess like for jobs, so it's, it was kind of scary in a sense. But um, I just decided to just do it and just found a job and applied and then I got the first job and applied to. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, like that was one I like, and then now I'm like, I, I'm like, later on I'm gonna be like looking for another job. but. Well, I think you're one of like four students I've heard of who have actually gotten the very first job that they applied to. So you didn't even apply to anything else? Um, I'm trying to think now that now that we're like sitting here. <laughs> I think uh, me and Brian, my mentor Brian, was like we were playing around and he helped me like apply to two for fun before. Ah, oh, gotcha. Like, so they don't really count. Yeah. Like <laughs> okay. Canada. But yeah, technically, yeah. Okay, so you only had one interview total then. Uh huh. It was how, a video how, interview. It was a video interview. Are, are they still in the area? Like, were you able to meet them in person um, eventually? So they were in Pleasant Hill. The main office is in Pleasant Hill. Cool. But um, we just decided to do a video call, so, and so I didn't have to go to Pleasant Hill, and we just did the interview. And, and then I got What did they ask you? Um, he wasn't, so he was more like a, he wasn't a coder himself, but he uh, looked at my uh, website, and he really, really liked it. Yes, and um, he, uh, and he just asked me a bunch of questions like, Oh, you've been in school, like where have you worked? And then he did a lot of talking. He talked a lot about the company. I like I got to learn a lot about the company. I got to learn about um, like what the job was going to be like and that kind of thing. So it was nice. Yeah. Cool. So that sounds like a pretty smooth kind of thing. Do you know why they picked you from that? Is there any like you know? I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> I just know that I got the job and I was really happy. <laughs> All right, that's cool. Um, did, you know what happened after that? You know what, what what were like your first days on the job like? Um, so basically they just put me in training. So I just went work with another instructor. 
Um, I'm still technically in training for, for a little while until I get my own class. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I just got to walk, go in and just like hang out with kids and like start like first they ask a bunch of questions and I'm learning like there's like a bunch of like basic cute computer questions that I was like, wait, I don't wait, how do I do that? Like, okay, figure it out. So I'm like, yeah. I guess I'm like, I'm more than learning just like coding and like I'm actually learning more Python because we hadn't learned that to code Python. Mm -hmm. So I'm learning, I'm currently actually taking the class myself. <laughs> so I can have the kids, which is cool. So I'm learning Python, which is really awesome. I actually like Python. You know, and you just like, yeah. and um, I made my own first JavaScript game. I was super excited about that. Nice. Yeah, it's like, it's called Fairy Dreams. It's super good. Wow, cool. <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool. So I got to like, you know, I got figured out how to move the, my, I used an image, like it's a butterfly, and it goes around, you have to collect the fairy dust. Yeah. And then you can't get hit by the raindrop. So <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> There's definitely a lot of, you know, when most developers get hired, right, is you normally don't know everything on the job. I knew like 25%, and mm -hmm. then I just got to get trained on all of this other stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's great they're training on that, especially on like whole new languages. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything else, you know, you think students should know about, like, you know, the job or anything like that? Or, you know, something that might be helpful for them to understand? To get a job? Yeah, to get a job, you know, while they're looking for a job or things not to be too concerned with while they're on a job. I mean, I guess it's like, uh, I guess the feeling of being ready, I don't know if that ever, like, comes. I don't know. Maybe, like, <laughs> okay, like, but, like, I guess it's just, like, knowing that, like, you meet so many people in your life, right? And not everyone you meet in your life is going to like you, right? Just mm -hmm. like with jobs. So you're going to apply to all these jobs and not all the jobs are going to like you, but some will. So you just kind yeah. of, like... Put yourself out there and do it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So that's like the advice you give to people. Just put, your, put yourself out yeah, there. Just, just go it. for it. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. What, what were you doing before Codify? Um, I was in school. So I graduated um, school. And the first thing I wanted to do when I graduated, I ended up graduating with a major in sociology. That's what my final major was due to the crisis of like, oh my God, I'm in the wrong major, somehow I end up in sociology. But <laughs> <laughs> so I, as soon as I graduated, literally, I graduated in December 17th and I bought a Python course. I actually bought, like, I bought a Coursera course and that, mm -hmm. uh, when I realized that like I wanted to code and then I found Codify and what I really liked about Codify was the part-time mm -hmm. or like the fact that like, I guess it wasn't really part-time for me though. I spent a lot of time at home coding. But um, what I liked about Codify, why I picked Codify out of all the other ones is because of that, the scheduling. Because mm -hmm. it was, I didn't, ha couldn't really go to San Francisco Monday through Friday between 10 and 6. So it was really nice to be able to just come here on Sundays, have a Sunday class, and to be able to do all the work at home. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about, like, you know, your experience stuff with, like, your mentor and with Codify and stuff, what that was like? Um, I really loved Codify, actually. <laughs> yeah, like, I had a lot of fun. My mentor was Brian, and he was really nice. Um, he knew his stuff. Uh, class was awesome like just coming here i gotta go class oh i really liked that it was on i had sunday class and we having a class on the weekend was cool for me for my schedule so that was good um everybody was really nice even when i need help like even just recently when i'm work because i'm working on that website for the the blog website mm -hmm. like i was like oh wordpress i know nothing about wordpress what do i do so i asked i asked evan because he did magic hours mm -hmm. on it so that was cool that i can just like message you guys and like get find out stuff mm -hmm. and i like, get help with my resume and and like cover letter and that was really cool so i think that's what it, like most of it Sweet. Yeah. Uh, you know, you did something we're always trying to get people to do, which is going out and talking to friends or family or people you know to make websites for them. How did you go about doing that? Um, so my dad's, um, so the, I'm currently got two websites from actually from people that told, uh, they knew that they got referred up to me. But my dad basically he has a pen pal in, in Italy for the chess website. So he, mm -hmm. this, he's a chess, chess author and he writes written like 30 books basically, wow. but his uh, entire website is in HTML from like the 90s. Yes, so it needs a re <laughs> so, reboot. Yeah, so basically I'm gonna do the English version of the site because it's in Italian. It's mostly in Italian. So I'm gonna be doing it, mo the English version of it to sell books. So that's, I work on that. So my dad kind of set that up. Nice, that's a good connection mm -hmm. though. Different last name different mm -hmm. country I guess yeah that looks good too yeah <laughs> and he's really nice too so we've just been corresponding through email and then I've been working on the site and he's really mm -hmm. cool so that was that was cool and then um uh, my brother's girlfriend found someone from her job that's looking to do a blog website so she referred her to me and she so she gave her my email and my number and we've been talking I met up with her and that's what I'm doing learning all about WordPress nice <laughs> but, nice yeah, so I'm kind of like studying WordPress development so I can figure out how to do the blog site for her perfect yeah. perfect um, if you could give any advice to you know a student who's going to be starting here uh, what advice would that be 
Um, my main thing is do projects every week. Like, I, you know, it's like, if, it doesn't matter what, you gotta find time, you know? Like, there's lots of, I guess some people have full-time jobs and, like, that's a thing. But I think the thing that helped me the most is, like, by, like, we had to do portfolios, like, week six. And, like, mm-hmm. by, like, week nine, I had, like, nine projects to show because I'd done extra credit projects. I did all the projects. Like, I was project, project, project. Yeah. Was, like, record time projects. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, Brian's like, how did you finish that? <laughs> <laughs> the same day, done project. Yeah, yeah. The week project finished in like seven hours. <laughs> but like I spent full seven hours. Like, you know, so I, I guess like my advice is just, just do projects every week and make sure you do them. Because it's like, it's, it, you have to be able to learn, you have to be able to do it. So you got to practice. Even if you, it sucks, like you suck and you like all my stuff, like I had like spent like days on like trying to fix things sometimes. Yeah. The, the JavaScript, I was doing this mm-hmm. plan at one and like it would not work. Yeah, I spent a lot of time just trying to make it. It's like a lot of like fail. It's like for those hundred times that you fail that one time that's a success, mm-hmm. it feels amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, if you could give advice to anybody who's about to start, you know, looking for jobs or just graduated, you know, what advice would you give them? Um, I would just say just do it. That's what I was. Just, just go out there and like know that like uh, people like not liking you doesn't mean anything. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's I true. Was like, cause I, that was my fear, honestly. I was just like, oh, they don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> I was sad about it, but I think like that's the main thing is that like, okay, not everyone I meet in my life is going to like me. I have to accept that. I yeah. accept that. Okay. So you know, just just go with it and yeah. Is there anything you wished you knew before you did Codify? You know, anything you wish you could have known before starting the whole course? Besides JavaScript? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I, um, I kind of feel like Codify really just like did a really good job of just like going through the weeks and everything. So I feel like I even like not really knowing anything going into it, like it was good.